Hey, Micah, an unnamed charitable group that prefers to remain anonymous, stepping up in a big way, donating enough money to purchase nearly 100,000 N95 masks specifically for Chicago police. The N95 masks in particular are actually one of the hardest things in the world to get a hold of right now. But get a hold of it, they did. This white delivery truck rolling down the United Center loading dock, carrying precious cargo all the way from China. So good, bad, otherwise, the market dynamics have made it that suppliers in China will not sell it to you uh, for pre-COVID prices anymore. Stashed in these boxes are bright yellow containers holding the N95 masks, nearly 100,000 of them delivered to Chicago by Blue Flame Medical, a global medical supply company that managed to secure the hard to find masks. So good, bad, otherwise, the market dynamics have made it that suppliers in China will not sell it to you uh, for pre-COVID prices anymore. An anonymous donor putting up the money inspired by the courageous service of Chicago police, Blue Flame providing the masks at cost. It's, it's truly what makes America great. It really is this idea that we help our own community out. Top police commanders say they've now got enough personal protective equipment to stockpile for the future. And local hospitals like Swedish on Chicago's north side say they too have seen dramatic improvement from the shortages of March and April. You know, every day we were hearing reports on how many more days we had on hand of, let's say, N95s, for example. Swedish Hospital says things are much better now, and they're acquiring enough mass and personal protective equipment to last months, not days. It's really made all the difference. I mean, the morale of our staff is good, considering the difficult days behind us and ahead of us. Part of the challenge with the N95 mass experts say is it's relatively short shelf life, neither the mass or the respirators intended to be used more than once. Julian Cruz, WGN News.